ambassador to Islamabad says he's received assurances about the release of a famous refugee arrested in Pakistan. Shabat Gula is accused of having a fake identity document. She was pictured as a young girl at a refugee camp in 1984, and the image became famous around the world. Now she's one of tens of thousands of Afghan refugees in Pakistan who are being told to return home. Joining us now is the renowned photographer Steve McCurry. Steve captured that famous photograph of Shabbat in 1984, an iconic image which captivated tens of thousands of people around the globe. Welcome to the Al Jazeera News Hour, Steve. There is no original offence here, so why has this process taken so long for her, we think, imminently about to be allowed to go home? Well, I think there's something going on between the Afghan government and the Pakistani government, some sort of blood, bad blood, which would uh, cause the Pakistan authorities to want to humiliate her and, uh, and treat her with incredible disrespect. Uh, you know, uh, she was the face of Afghan refugees, in fact, of all refugee, uh, uh, refugees around the world for more than two decades. And now she appears to be the, the symbol of unwanted migrants uh, around the world. Um, you know, if there's no real evidence at the moment that in fact her identity papers were illegal. They, they raided her apartment and uh, it, it appears that they are treating her like some common criminal. So I think that uh, not only, you know, this in a way represents all Afghans, uh, you know, having this problem. There's hundreds of thousands of uh, other Afghan refugees facing the same situation. In, in Pakistan at the moment, so it's not only her, but you know she's a, you know she's a widow. She was an orphan. Uh, she's had a very difficult life, f and um, at this point, uh, she's lived in Pakistan for m most of her adult life. Uh, at this point, to treat her in this way uh, is, is really uh, unconscionable. She obviously wants to return home with dignity. She was offered, at one point during this process, the chance to go to a third country, I'm assuming here, we can never know, but I'm assuming here that she, her logic was, if I go to a third country, a third Muslim country, I will not get to go back to my home country. Is that a fair thing to say on my part? Well, I think I would, you know, we've been doing everything we can, uh, uh, trying to hire her uh, a, a good attorney, a human rights attorney. Uh, I, I would be more than happy to have her come uh, to the United States, uh, a country, uh, you know, another Muslim country. I, I think it's clear at this point that she should leave uh, Pakistan and uh, perhaps she could go back to Afghanistan. I think that's an option, but uh, I would be more than happy to help facilitate her uh, living um, in the United States. Uh, of course, she prefers to be with her family, which is understandable, but any assistance I can provide her uh, we're ready to, to do. Steve, as a work of art, and I'm using the phrase deliberately here, were you aware of the impact of what you were taking? Because the composition of the main photograph is, quite honestly, stunning. It is breathtaking. It's almost like you took so long to stage it, but I'm suspecting here that it was just one of those moments, and you must have known as an artist, this is something special. Well, you know, the picture took place in the period of maybe one or two minutes, and it was in a school classroom, and there were children running around. There was a lot of noise, a lot of dust. Uh, but the, the, the strength of the picture, the success of the picture, really has more to do with her uh, and her expression, her eyes, her particular look. Uh, I mean, we had incredible light coming into the side of the tent. Uh, but that gaze, that haunted look, there's such an authentic... Uh, you know, picture which you could never pose, you could never, you know, coach somebody to, to look that way. I, I was just, I just took what I was given, and uh, fortunately the picture was in focus, and fortunately the editor of the magazine decided that this was such a powerful, in, in some ways disturbing photograph, and it perfectly represented the millions of Afghans that were living in, as refugees back in the 1980s. Uh, not only in Pakistan, but in Iran and, and parts of uh, Uzbekistan. And there should be a resolution to this in the next couple of days or so. Steve McCurry there in Munich. Thanks very much.